last game. Um, sure. Uh, you see the Catalyst Victoria. It's a tough one, isn't it? Uh, I think I'll go with Catalyst Victoria. You think you'll go for Catalyst Victoria now? Um, just uh, looking at the quality of cricket that we've had um, early on, I know that it's been a while since they played the, uh, the semi-finals, but the quality of the, the 20 over cricket uh, was quite high. Well, all of these games went over the last over, so I mean, that, those wickets will count. Mm. And if you look at the second game into a super over, the first we have in the past three years, then we host the games in Munich, so well done to all of them. Well, there you have it, uh, all the matchups for this uh, Saturday at um, Sahara Park, Munich. It's proving to be a cracker jack, and uh, I know the quality of the cricket is going to be quite high. We'll bring you all that action, interviews with the uh, captains from both the winning and uh, the teams that uh, do, do not win over the weekend. And uh, we'll also be interviewing the player of the match for each of those matches. Up next, we'll be looking at the first game to be played in the AMA 2020 finals, a game between Rylands and Bluebells in the 2A final. <laughs> The team's openers got off to what looked like a good start, but soon lost their first wicket with only 17 runs on the board, when Nasir Kamildi was the first wicket to fall, being stumped for only seven. Bluebells continued losing wickets regularly, but a 46-run fourth-wicket partnership between top scorer Basadin on 58 not out and Nizam Karaka 15 saw the Western Province Cricket Association Division 2 a one-day competition winners fight back to 70 for four. Basadin played a great innings, batting right through to the end, helping his teammates to a decent total of 114 for 9 in their loss at 20 overs. Tahir Talaria was the pick of the bowlers for Ryland's Cricket Club, getting 3 for 24 in 3.5 overs. was Ryland's Cricket Club. They started off solidly and a few misfields by Bluebell's Cricket Club saw them gain a bit of confidence. Devesh Patel and Peterson opened the batting. Patel, who was dropped on one, added another 20 runs to his score before getting caught by Kamildi off the bowling of Ziad Sable. After losing their first wicket, Ryland struggled to put the partnership together. Yusuf Keat delivered what could have been the changing point in the game when he took a wicket off his first delivery of the day. He kept it tight and finished the day, conceding 11 runs in his two overs. Intikar Ishmael put on a brave fight at the end of the innings, scoring 33 not out, but was not able to pull it through for his club. I've got uh, Nizam Kerika, the captain of Blue Bells, with me. Nizam, firstly, congratulations on a wonderful performance. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I really enjoyed the, the game. Um, it was quite tense, but uh, at the end of the day, we, we pulled through, so it was quite enjoyable. You said it was quite tense and it was uh, sitting even from up there watching. Where do you think uh, you guys won it? I think I think um, credit must go to all our bowlers. Um, everybody did fantastic. Um, the, the guys in the field, although we dropped a, uh, a couple of catches, but I mean, we were we were full of energy in the field and, and, and that I think is what, what pulled us through. Outstanding performances uh, for you in this match? Um, the outstanding performance obviously would be to our youngster who opened the batting. He batted right through. Um, he's got about 58. With, uh, and, and he also won man of the ma match performance, so yeah, he, he takes the captain. But what about uh, Yusuf's bowling performance? Yeah, I, I, I always knew Yusuf's um, got an inning, so I, I, I kept him to the end because I knew he, he did put it through to, uh, for us at the end there. Well, once again, uh, from the rest of the Western Cape, uh, or the Western Province Cricket Association, well done to you, and well done also on your promotion to the 1B for next year. Yeah, uh, very excited about it, and yeah, we're looking forward to next year. I've also got the captain of the team that uh, unfortunately didn't win today, Salim Mukadam from uh, Rylands Cricket Club. Salim, hard luck and better luck next time. No, definitely. Thank you very much. You know, like yesterday's game with the Proteas, the best team doesn't always win. And um, our guys played really well. We trained really hard for this. And, you know, for us, it's, it's the first time we've had Rylands. Uh, Blue Bells were the losers last year and they managed to win the trophy this year. So, you know, that'll motivate us to do try a little bit harder next year to be back here. And it's just
see it up a lot of our fans. This is the World Cup, you know, being able to play at New Orleans on this ground and with the conditions in front of this amount of people, and it's amazing, you know. And, and hats off to the Western Bangladesh Cricket Association for actually putting up with this final at New Orleans. You won't believe how much the players really value and appreciate. But uh, there were a lot of positives for you guys to be taken from this match and from the season as well. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of the opening batsman for one. I thought it was going to be over by the tenth over the way they were going. No, that's fine. And look, we've got to learn as we as we go along. Um, you know, to pace yourself and, and do do um, get runs on the board. And T Twenty cricket, you know, runs on the board, builds pressure. And you know, the, I just saw the recent Nike advert which is pressure builds legends. So being able to train and perform under these conditions on the surface, uh, you know, it's amazing, and that's how our players are going to improve. So hopefully we can get, you know, facilities at club cricket up to a certain standard in cricket in general in the Western Cape will improve. How about the man of the match in the 2A final was Saf Basadin from Blue Belt Screen Club. A wonderful 58, what a knock from a young man. He's still at school, believe it or not, from South Peninsula. Well, Saf, well done, and uh, just take us through that knock. What made it happen for you today? Um, I think earlier on the ball was doing quite a bit, and my plan was to bat through the overs as a former captain in the team, and um, uh, fortunately for me it worked. Um, if there is anything that you take out of this game, I mean, uh, obviously you've won it, but you're still a youngster. Looking looking ahead, what, what, what lies ahead for you for next year? Um, I think uh, I can take my cricket further and improve um, on certain areas where I'm uh, lacking. And, yeah. You didn't bat like a youngster out there. Uh, who, who was your inspiration until now from the club firstly and then generally? Um, from the club, I think it was uh, all my teammates and including the coach and the supporters. And then my inspiration was obviously my parents and the almighty up there. That was quite an exciting final. Uh, up next, we'll be looking at the final between a 